Hello everybody and welcome to Storm Reads and today I am going to be talking about some of my most anticipated reads for uh, the second quarter. So these will be for April, May, and June. There's just so many books that I would love to read and I've kind of narrowed it down to like 15 and they're a combination of middle grade uh, mystery, thriller, horror type books. And I got it in somewhat of an order, but it's not like in like date order, but it is in like April, May, and June. At least I was trying to be a little organized. <laughs> and with that, I'm just going to get into the books. And so the first one I have here is a middle grade called um, Mary Underwater. And it's by Shannon Dolesky, I believe is how you might say that. And it's a kind of a, a contemporary about Mary she doesn't have a very good home life. I kind of get the vibes that maybe her father is abusive. And so she's failing her favorite subject, science, and it's really bothering her. So she is going to uh, take some courage from one of her favorite heroines, which is Joan of Arc. And she is going to set out to build this submarine and sail it across the Chesapeake Bay and... Um, in doing so, maybe she's going to uh, find some courage for herself and her life and things like that. And it just sounded like it would be kind of cute. And this one comes out uh, April 7th. The next book I have is um, Finally Something Mysterious by Doug Cornett. And this is a middle grade book about two friends and... They have kind of a little detective agency called the One and Only Detective Agency, but things aren't really going very well, and they don't have anything to uh, look into. And one of the uh, one of the kids is um, expecting a new baby sibling, and it's going to kind of mess up their dynamic duo, and so they're a little bummed. And then all of a sudden. Like, hundreds of these little rubber duckies just end up on people's lawns and nobody knows why. And so, it is a mystery for the one and only detective agency. And so, it sounded like it would be a cute little uh, middle grade mystery. And this one comes out in um, April 14th. And if you see me looking over to this side, it's because I have a little paper here that tells me what the dates are. Another one that I can't wait to get my hands on is uh, the Southern... Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires by Grady Hendrix. Now, I've heard a lot about Grady Hendrix, but I've never read any of his books. I know a couple of my friends just absolutely love his books, and so I'm thinking that this one might be kind of a fun one to start with, maybe. Hopefully, I don't know. Um, I have a friend who just uh, finished this, and she enjoyed it, so I'm hoping that if I give it a try, I will enjoy it. And it is about a woman's book club who... Um, take it upon themselves to kind of uh, protect their town from this new stranger that's come to town who uh, happens to be a vampire. So, sounds kind of fun. And it came out um, April 7th. And my last one for April is um, He Started It by Samantha Downing. And this is the author of uh, My Lovely Wife. And I really enjoyed that whenever I read it. Uh, last year and so I'm kind of curious of how her second book is going to do. This one is about some siblings who haven't seen each other for a long time because of a reason I'm not sure about and um, they get a cryptic message from uh, their grandfather at his wake and for some reason they have to get back together to figure out something. I'm not exactly sure what and all of them have secrets, and one of them could be a killer. And so, it sounds like it could be uh, kind of interesting. And I'm kind of curious how, you know, since her debut novel was really good, I'm curious about how her second novel will be. And this one comes out, I believe, it's April 28th. Okay, so we'll move on to the May ones. And I have The Elephant's Girl by uh, Celesta Remington. And this is about a young girl with no past and a tornado kind of swept her up and dropped her off in this zoo. And where she was protected by this elephant during the storm. And now she's been raised by the zookeeper and uh, she's 12 years old. And she gets some kind of a telepathic image from the elephant about some kind of woods or something. And so she sets off on 
a adventure and it's supposed to be full of like ghost and treasure hunting and things like that and it just sounds like it'd be really cute and this one comes out may 19th and the next one is a premeditated myrtle by elizabeth c bunce and this one is about a young girl who is obsessed with uh, justice and uh, criminology type things like that and everything and uh, her neighbor dies and I guess nobody's thinking that it was um, anything besides natural causes but she believes that it was murder and so w with the help of her um, I don't know if it's nanny or governess or something like that anyway uh, with the help of uh, an adult she kind of sets out to try to figure out that it was murder or not so it sounds like it'd be a cute mystery and it comes out um, on May 5th. Another kind of a mystery middle grade. Um, Every Missing Pieces by Melanie Conklin. And this one is about a girl who sees danger everywhere at the bus stop, um, in the woods, whatever. She, she sees danger everywhere. And uh, one day when she's out in the woods, she sees a boy who she believes looks like the boy who has been missing for about six months or so. But nobody believes her, and probably because she uh, sees danger everywhere, so nobody believes her. <laughs> anyway, so she sets out to try to figure out um, who this boy is, and so it sounds like it could be a, a fun mystery. And this one comes out on May 19th. The next one I have is kind of a mystery, and this one is called Derailed by Mary, and I have no idea how to say the last name, uh, Kelly Koa, maybe? I'm not sure. Sorry if I butchered that. It is a Kelly Pruitt mystery. It is the first one, and this is about uh, Kelly, who is a private investigator, and she is trying to make it on her own, and she's got a death child, and now she's having to juggle clients at her late father's detective agency, and she sees a note that her father had made about a mystery su surrounding a girl who was killed at the train tracks. And um, she decides to look into it because um, maybe it wasn't an accident and it gets her in the sight of a killer. And so it sounds like it'll be really good. Comes out May 12th. Next up, I have The Goodbye Man by Jeffrey Devers, and this is the second book in the Coulter Shaw series. I really, really liked the first one, which was the, I believe it was called The Never Game. And uh, this was my first foray into uh, Jeffrey Devers, and I really enjoyed that one, so I wanted to get into this one. And this one, I believe it's, he's in pursuit of uh, two, he's in pursuit of two, uh, People. I don't know if it's two guys or what. Anyway, and he ends up uncovering some clues about a different mystery. And so I'm kind of curious to see how this one goes. And it comes out May 12th. Next one is uh, De Evolution by Max Brooks. And I don't know a whole lot about this one because I don't really want to. I read the blurb kind of once, but I've kind of forgotten it and I like it that way. This one is a horror type and it's a supposed to be kind of a different take on the Bigfoot and so I'm, I'm kind of curious um, what he's going to do with Bigfoot and how it's going to be but I don't really know anything about it um, he's uh, I guess he's done other it says a first hand it's it's the first hand account of the Rainier Sasquatch match massacre so I'm not even sure if it's um, part true and part made up but I don't know, but it sounds like it would be really good. And I and I am all there for a good Bigfoot mystery. And this one comes out May 12th as well. Lots of books coming out May 12th. And another horror I have that I can't wait to try is um, The Only Good Indians by uh, Stephen Graham Jones. And I haven't ever read this author, but I've heard good things about him, and this one looks like it might be pretty good, and it's about, 
It's about Native American Indians and it is something that they did in their past kind of comes back to haunt them because there is an entity that is after them and it's about all I can remember and I don't really need to know a whole lot. It just sounds like it's going to be really good and I want to read it. And this one comes out May 19th. I have a lot that's coming out on the 12th and the 19th. That is everything for May. And so let's get into the ones I want to read in June. Okay, in June, there is Amelia Six by uh, Kristen L. Gray. And this one is about a group of kids who are in a museum of some sort. I can't remember exactly what it is, but um, they are there and the Amelia Earhart's Earhart's goggles go missing and somebody has taken them and they're not sure and so Amelia has to figure out what happened before the night is over and it just sounds super cute and this one comes out June 2nd. Our last middle grade book is um, The Unready Queen by uh, William Ritter and this is the second in the Oddmere series. And I really liked the first one. The first one was about twin boys who find out that one of them is a goblin and then one is a really the human. And that's not a spoiler because it's in the blurb and it comes up like right at the beginning. Anyway, and this is just a continuation of their adventures that they're going to be having. Um, they're, they're friends with this girl Fable who lives in the wood with her mother who is the Dark Queen or something like that. Who is a really big bear. <laughs> anyway, um, she kind of comes to visit them, but then some things happen and it threatens the woods and they have to kind of go and help it or something like that. So just a continuation of their adventures and it sounds like it would be really cute and it comes out. Then I have Little Creeping Things by, again, another name I cannot pronounce, uh, Chelsea Ishaso? Ishaso? I'm not sure. I'm probably butchered that I apologize but anyway this one it's um I can't remember what it's about this one is about Cassidy who has been um blamed for a fire that was set she doesn't remember setting it and she's really sorry if that she did do it uh, she's being bullied a lot and she's especially bullied by this one girl named uh Melanie or Melissa or something like that anyway or Melinda. I don't know. It's a name word. <laughs> anyway, when she goes missing, Cassidy thinks that maybe it had something to do with the fire. And so she sets out to try to figure out what exactly is going on. And it's a YA thriller. And it sounds like it might be pretty good. I'm kind of hit or miss with the YA thrillers, but I always like to give them a try. With that. And it comes out June 2nd. All these books are coming out on June 2nd. <laughs> I have I Killed... Zoe Spano by uh, Kit Frick and um, this one I guess is, they said it's for like the fans of those who uh, liked Sadie and Serial. I have not read Sadie though I want to and I've not listened to the I think it's a podcast Serial. I've not listened to it but they said it's for fans of that um, people that like to be, read that or listen to that and this one I can't remember it's about two teenagers whose lives get thrown together and uh, one of them uh, says they're guilty of murder, I think it is, and the other one doesn't, I'm guessing, doesn't believe it and tries to figure out what's going on. Whatever. I can't remember. But anyway, it looked good. And this one comes out June 2nd as well. So there you have it. That's um, about 15 books, I think it was, that I am interested in um, getting. Hopefully I'll be able to get it. I don't uh, don't have a big book budget, but I do like to get things from my library since it can't actually go to the library. Hopefully they'll get some of these on overdrive. And you never know if a good sale comes up, I might be able to purchase some of these. But anyway, can't wait for them to come out and so that I can get my hands on them. And if you uh, are interested in any of the books, please comment and tell me which ones you're interested in and what you're anticipating. Is there... A book that you just want to tell somebody about I'm always looking to expand my TBR so go ahead and comment down below and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one bye